Hey, what's going on? It's me, Mama Dove, again. And I know I have made the video of me becoming an organ donor. Um, <laughs> it's still a good amount of views. Six views within three hours, which is great. Um, you know, there may not be a lot of people who understand why, you know, they signed up for organ donor, organ donation, or to be a life-saving donor. Well, I will explain about organ donation, and maybe in the next video tomorrow, I'll tell you some scenario stories, or stories about people who became organ donors, and how they went through it, and what you have to go through. Um... <laughs> You know, I mean, I'll tell you part of it right now so you guys would understand, like, what happens in the process. Basically, when you sign up to become an organ donor, you go and save other people's lives. Not just friends and family. Strangers as well. And you might be thinking, oh my god, that's crazy, you know, it, a lot of people don't understand that there's millions and millions of people that die every day waiting for an organ, okay? Especially kids, babies, and it, it's sad, you know, you would think, oh yeah, I could donate my kidney to my sister or brother, no. It's not the only thing. You donate to anyone. Not just friends and family and shit, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I might have said that in the video before, you know, donate to your friends and family. But when you look at organ donation, you got to think of it really seriously. Um, <laughs> you know... When you become, ah, uh, sorry, I'm tired. When you become an organ donor, you, sometimes, I don't know if you wound up finding matches or somebody, it, let's just say you're on Facebook and someone posts, I need a kidney. And if you're a donor, go ahead and you know, respond to the message, message them or whatever, and say, hey, I'll do it. Or, don't even say anything, be silent. Go see if you're a match. If this person posts that they have, you know, a, a blood type, I don't know the different names, O positive, oh, I don't even know the different kinds of blood. But anyways, let's just say someone wrote on a private page of a page, uh, a private post of a page that you follow. Um, I don't know, we'll just say organ donation page or something on Facebook. And you're on it because, I don't know, you're a donor or you could be looking for an organ yourself. Well, if you see that someone needs 65% of someone's liver, and they say their blood type. You could just be the kind person yourself. Go do a blood match. And if you're uh, a candidate, obviously the person would get called and say they got a liver. You know? Um, it's crazy. But I'm, I'm going to do it. I don't care what anyone thinks. So, like I said, I advise all you guys to really suck in yes about what you are choosing to do. You know, I know you want to help out your friends and family. You know, families always come first. But if you feel that someone is in need of help, someone is ailing or dying because they don't have something in need, a kidney, part of a liver... <laughs> um, I 
up with us you could donate while you're a living donor. The rarest kind of donation I've heard was a single lung. Okay, I actually read this the other day where someone actually donated one of their lungs. I was like, is that possible? Could you live with one lung? You have two to help you breathe. And you would think, oh my god, that's risking a higher chance. Now, let's just say... Okay, I can see having one kidney is so common because it's common nowadays. But I never heard of someone just living with one lung. Now... If that lung starts to fail, you have a higher chance of dying. I I swear to God, I don't know if that's possible, but I read that it did happen to someone where they donated a lung to somebody. I was like, get the fuck out of here. I couldn't believe the story I was hearing. But yeah, I think it's possible to do that. I know you donate a kidney, part of a liver... And I think there are two other things you could donate. I forgot. Uh, shit, I forgot. Your pancreas. Oh. I'm not sure about that. But anyways, yeah. I really consider you guys, you know, if you ever go to the DMV. I know it's hard to decline organ donation. I know you. I know there's people out there that need it. No. <laughs> it's it's sad in a way. I'll tell you that. It's really sad. Because one out of millions of people die every day waiting for an organ. A lot of people are avoiding organ transplants because of this. You know? And that's why I'm going to do it. I'm going to become a lifesaver. And that's what I want to do. I was asked by someone one day. I said, are you an organ donor? And they said, yes. And I said, I'm not, sadly. The person actually asked why. It was hard to explain that, you know, at the time I didn't know about organ donation and stuff. But when I started reading it, that's why I asked some people, are you organ donors? And they said, yes. I was like, Pfft. that really hit me on the spot right there when someone asked why. Um, yeah. But I really consider it now, you know, think about... <laughs> You know, your friends' lives you could save, or... Think of this. When you pass away, your organs are just going to waste. When they could be reused in someone else's body. Alright? Think of that. You know, you you think, you know, my body's going to waste. I have nothing more to do with it no more. You know, you're, you're gone, that's it, you know? <clears throat> so, you think, okay, I'll give it to someone who is in need of organs, heart, liver, kidney, pancreas, lungs, whatever. Whatever you could donate, great. Um, living donors, there's not very much you could donate, but you still save at least someone's life, you know? At least one or two people. That's good enough. It's better than nothing, you know? Um, there's a thing on Facebook. They say check out blood donations. Uh, I advise that too. I always run into that every time I hit Facebook. I was going through like my settings and stuff. And it, it led me to blood donations. And I always wanted to click on it. Maybe there was organ donation on there. But I never clicked on it. And I'm like, something's telling me to click on it to find out what it is. But I never do. But I advise you to, whenever you go to the DMV, do your ID or driver's license. Do the life-saving changes. Okay? Save a life. 
help someone in need.